How do you do, y'all? Tables here. I have gotten enough requests to update the Poison Carrying Golem build to 3.21. Uh, instead of doing a leak start, you know, semi in game POB, I decided to just put forth a pretty high investment POB <clears throat> for those that are interested in just hopping in, maybe doing some five way carries. You can still more than just level this up and grind out the maps and the progress uh, as you see fit. <clears throat> the uh, POBs from last league still uh, still more or less supply, uh, but the in game, like the real high investment POB is new, and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. I'm not gonna make this a super long video. This is kind of what the build looks like. This footage. Is from 3.20. <clears throat> I will leave a link to this video in the description below. And let's get into it. All right. So here we are at the high investment. You see we have uh, the leak start POB, the current in-game POB from 3.20, and then this new high investment. I'll leave all three of these in there uh, for anyone who would like to start a fresh character and has the the divine orbs to to really pump this build out now if we look <clears throat> at the current pob if it opens we're at about 16.1 million dps and that's where the pretty basic animate guardian this new one we essentially doubled more or less doubled our damage and this tree is only for level 94 uh with this much damage, we have pretty decent uh, effective hit pool. Uh, this really should be capable of getting you to uh, the very high 90s, if not 100, depending on how safe you're willing to play it. Some of the major changes we did, we <laughs> finally added a cluster jewel to this build because uh, previously I had been very much against it because um, I didn't really see um, <clears throat> that it really added the value per point. But with this new Thread of Hope setup that we have going on, uh, really just just to hit some highlights, I figured let's go ahead and add a cluster because we're going to be taking some things out, putting some things in, and, we, and it gives us the ability to dump some of the Golem jewels that we were using. In lieu of Forbidden Flame, uh, for a different ascendancy point, Liege of the Primordial, uh, you could go for Elemancer if you want to. I just like having the 100% increased effective buffs. Uh, you know, it's 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 however you want to play it. Um, I think I chose this one because this one tends to be the cheaper one. Uh, by all means, take Elemancer if you'd like. This also helps with you know resummoning your golems after they die, uh, which is which is really nice, uh, honestly. Same ascendancy uh, as as before, uh, you know. And part of the reason we're doing the threat of hope is because I wanted to anoint corruption because we had a lot of passives here that we had to get through, right? And by the way, this is without the uh, mana reservation node because honestly, I I felt like I didn't really need it. Um, so you end up at ninety seven um, or ninety eight and you want a little bit extra mana reservation, uh, by all means, it is still available to you um, around the tree, probably right here. Not the most ideal spot. I get that. Um, but it is what it is. This is the way I designed it. This is the way I'm sticking with it. So here's here's how it goes. We get, we get a little bit of block to make ourselves a fair bit more tanky. Uh, we aren't max block, but we do block a pretty good amount. We take any kind of golem health. We took out the chaos because uh, I don't know. I, I, I really feel like I don't need it. Um, and I don't think you're going to need it with this much damage. Um, save for the <clears throat> few situations you might end up getting yourself in. You might consider uh, dropping these um, five points, putting them in here. And going for convocation again, convocation, cooldown recovery rate, absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't play this build without it. And then, you know, just general minion stuff. 
you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, as much damage as we can get. Our skills are staying the same, except for, and let me, let me turn this off. <clears throat> uh, you want to make sure that you're using the uh, envy from your weapon. The only real change that we made on the skills is we ended up dropping chance to poison in lieu of getting uh, maxing our chance to poison on our gear. And <clears throat> honestly, that opened up um, quite a bit of damage for us uh, because we are getting a real true full on uh, damage link. And we are still keeping our golem count at four. And just a quick note, if you find yourself dying in your maps quite a bit, uh, you're going to lose a little bit of damage, but I would recommend running temporal chains in your blasphemy setup so it's always up 100% of the time. You would be very surprised at how much this helps with survivability when it's in a blasphemy setup. I keep it here because I don't really care if I die every once in a while, and you will get more single target DPS if chains is not in blasphemy. Now, <clears throat> the items. This is where most of the stuff has changed. We are still running Siji and Vise, <clears throat> but we're stacking uh, as many Ghastly Eye Jewels as we can get. All this gear, this gear is from 3.20, um, so it's all achievable, um, except for the Corrupt on the Covenant and the Neck I did not have in 3.20. These are new additions to the build. And when, you know, when I said high investment, I, I mean high investment. Uh, this is like a 13 div Neck. This is... I don't even remember, but it is a ton. It is a ton. I believe <clears throat> that our carrying golem is level uh, 27, it looks like. And if you wanted to go even further, you could take the golems to 28 by getting a double corrupt. But that, you're getting into territory at that point that is just really, truly top of the line stuff. So now, you know, we're running a real true seven link golem. So it's really exciting. Same flash setup as before. Uh, if you're having any issues with getting your reses, uh, by all means, the quartz flask is nice, but it's not mandatory. Neither is the gold flask. Uh, so, you know, swap in and out with, with what you need um, and just, you know, ru just ru run it accordingly. Here's our cluster jewel setup, Forbidden Flame, Forbidden Flesh. Our Ghastly Eye Jewels, real simple rolls. You can get considerably better than this. Um, if you in, spend enough currency and or invest enough time to roll these gems properly, uh, this is just a baseline. Uh, so we're actually, you know, we're, we're, we don't have as much damage as we could have. Uh, we have our Anima Stone, our Thread of Hope, <clears throat> and our Anamanu's, I think I said that right, uh, our Gaze Ghastly Eye Jewel. And that really, <laughs> I mean, that's like 7 mil of our damage. It's, it's a lot. It is, it is a ton of damage. Configuration is all set up. This is just pure mapping, 30, uh, 30, 31 million DPS, we'll call it. Almost 26 million for standard boss. Pinnacle, 24.5. And if you wanted to do some uber bossing, about 7.2. And mind you, this is all... This is all with six Wither Stacks, which we're getting from Withering Step. Our Wither Stacks actually go up to uh, all the way as high as 15. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the numbers, um, because they are lower than advertised. Uh, really simply for the, the reason of, of, of our Wither Stacks. And we also have our Leer Cast buff, which is why it's in the custom modifiers. Uh, we have a poison duration of about seven and a half seconds, so we can... We can really, really stack those poisons as fast as these golems are attacking. It is pretty incredible how how hard stuff like tends to melt. Uh, even more so, I mean, and that was when it was 16 million DPS. It's going to be even more incredible uh, on this new high investment setup. There you go. A few notes here for anyone who wants to do any leveling. Um, these notes are also in the League Start POB as well. That's it. That's the build. If you guys, please, if you guys have any questions on Poison Carrying Golem, or just any kind of general questions about the build, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below or join the Discord. Um, I will try my best to make myself available to you guys uh, to answer any questions that you might have. So, if you like this video and you like this content, 
please consider liking and subscribing. We are very we were, we are getting very close to YouTube partnership, so it would mean a lot to me. And what I said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week. Enjoy your three day weekend for those Americans uh, who watch, and uh, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Be good. Take care of yourselves.